Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Lucas Sky Films slash Cardboard Studio. Today I will show you how to make the uh, M40 of uh, A5. So um, I don't have this gun yet, so this will be a die. And um, yeah, so what you'll be needing in this video to make this gun is going to be a uh, pictures on about the gun. And um, a whole piece of big cardboard if you have one. Better it's gonna be piece of part cardboard. Like gonna be uh, make sure it's gonna be extra large since it's a sniper rifle. And um, put up a good song. Warm up your hawk glue gun and let's get started. Hey, um, so this is a lower receiver of the gun. Our gun is gonna be going to seven different parts. Our first part is going to be the bottom part of the gun, not uh, including the grip or the stock. It's just going to be this half of the gun, also not including the um, trigger and the magazine. All the other details, like the rail and the scope, also the tripod, will be uh, made at the end of the video. And uh, what we're going to focus on right now is just going to be the grip of the gun and basically uh, making a and also the barrel of the gun and also this part the front part of the gun and the, so this is going to be the links that you'll be needing the upper part of the whole gun is going to be 31 centimeters until uh, at the end you're going to drop to a 6 centimeter until here and then the, uh, the, bo uh, the bottom like uh, slope is going to be 2 centimeters and uh, the height will be 5 five centimeters and the whole length of the whole bottom part is going to be 34 centimeters but at the middle of the part which is going to be 16 centimeters uh, you're going to have a one inch um, slope up and another um, 16 centimeters until you reach just two, um, this two centimeter slope you only have two of this um, of, since uh, we are not going to do the layering we're going to do something different So now you have two pieces of the exact same piece of the lower uh, cor um, receiver and um, you want to make sure that you want to mirror this like once the mirror you want to have two exactly copy of it where it won't be just like one's going to be like the logo side and one's going to be the bright brown cardboard side like, like you want to mirror it's like kind of opposite so you have two exact same like um, color side so yeah Alright, so now you will need a really long piece. It could be like longer than this or shorter than this, but you mean no you mean no you'll be needing more piece of cardboard if it won't be shorter, but I should just use the longer part. I just have this long of a cardboard, so I'm just you won't use it. Anyways, so from here to here it will be three centimeters. And all the way down it's gonna be the same length. Um and from here to here, it could be how long if you want, but it's really important if you keep the 3 centimeters in the uh, middle. And uh, you want to use a cut razor or whatever, uh, cut down this line, and remove all the correlation, except for the back, uh, the same piece of cardboard. I'll show you later what I meant by that. And uh, very important is that this piece of cardboard, you want to be... Um, like the lines gonna be going like this, so it's gonna be easier easier to remove the correlation. So now, um, with the correlation removed, it should be like this. You will see how this side have a little piece of paper, and uh, yeah, you just you should still have the three inches still in the middle. And now you want to use those two of cardboard. Use a hot glue gun, and uh, glue the bottom part of this onto the cardboard like just like how like this. And um, I did a mistake here on this part. It sh I should be removing the sides here on this side, not this side. So now when I glue it on, you will see the logo, but not this side. But it doesn't matter anyways. So yeah. after going the two side panels to the um, piece that we just uh, made, you should be getting something like this. I can see this is going to be the lower uh of the gun, the over part of the gun, and uh, you don't want to glue up here because the leader won't put a barrel here, 
and then we're going to do something else too. Something else to it too. And um, right here, we're going to um, since I run out, of run out of cardboard to cover the whole thing, is that um, we're going to cover this part and this part of the gun, including the turning part. So it's going to be one piece. And we're going to cover about this much of the gun with the cardboard, but not the upper half part. So um, this is what I'm talking about. You want to have this part for the bottom instead of like this, like bottom. So you can have this side to the bottom. So that's why I messed up on. But yeah. Anyways, so we have this part now, and we'll cover it like about this much of the gun all the way down here. Cut off the uh, extra part and use it over here. Okay, so guys, this is what it will be look like after the, everything has been covered. You do not want to cover the top once again. And um, so on the bottom part, I forgot about the magazine part. So you want to use your knife to cut out a um, slot that is 1 inch height and um, 3 inches long. So yeah, just cut that out and then you can put your magazine in there. And yeah. Anyway, so now we're going to get started on the grip part, like this little grip part. You could rather use those ones where you could like slide on like a laser sight or like um, something else. We could just make it like a comfortable grip, uh, which I'm going to make the make a um, those like sides, the rails. I'm going to do one of those on the side here. It will be goes on like right here. Uh, you could you could make a comfortable grip if you want, but I'll stick with the rail. So, um, how are we going to make the rail system of the sides grip, whatever you want to call it? Uh, is that um, we we'll get a long piece of cardboard. You want to make sure the lines going this way instead of that way. It won't be way hard to do that if the lines aren't going uh, vertical. And. Um, uh, so how I got this shape is that um, you want to remove the side correlations, but you want to keep the middle one, and uh, you will just want to glue the the upper thin piece of paper to the bottom thin piece of paper to get the shape, and I'm going to cut it um, to different like parts, and I'm going to glue it on another piece of cardboard the exact same length, but uh, I'm going to be thinner than this one, and uh, I'll show you how it looks like after it's done. So after cutting uh, that piece into the uh, slots like this, you want to glue it onto another thin piece of cardboard so it look like the ashy rail system. And you want to make two of these so you want to like, on both sides and just glue it right on the sides. You want to make sure there's a little space be, um, at the front and a, a little space just put right in the middle of the front part of the gun. So after you finish making the rail for both sides, you want to um, cut out the bottom. Uh, where the magazine will go and cover the um, corrugation with some piece of paper so it looks better and the mag will go in and out smoother and um, this part will be uh, one inch and this um, part will be three inches and that will be um, the lens and the width for the magazine um, where the magazine will go in so this should, uh, should be what you have right now So after um, you finish with what, um, like covering and cutting the magazine port, you want to draw these uh, places on the left, uh, your left side, I mean right side of your gun. This place will become a part of the uh, where the uh, ejection port, and the uh, here will where the um, bolt um, rest is. And here will where the um, barrel from the back will be uh, like resting on. You want to cut this part out, and you want to cut this part out. Save this piece because we will need it later, and then just cut this part out. Okay, now you cut them out. It should be looking like this. And uh, now you want to get a one piece of paper and roll it up to like a lens that should be about this big. And um, it should be a perfect size for a gun. And um, the first barrel here is going to line up with the slot here. I'm sorry, that's my 
brother yelling like crazy. Anyways, you want to use another piece of long piece of cardboard about this long, just enough just to lens stuff from like here. Sorry about it. Like here, like all the way down here to um, the barrel. Uh, the first barrel will be like here. So just glue this piece of paper on here, and then I'll show you uh, how to glue this piece of cardboard to the gun. After gluing the barrel and the piece of cardboard to the gun, it should be looking like this. You should have have some extra parts out of the gun instead of like all uh, fully covered. So you're gonna be looking like this. So now you're gonna use another piece of little cardboard about this big, just big enough to go inside of here. And that's where we're gonna put other barrel. Um, not barrel, but like the lever where you pull it back uh, will be. Okay, so now you want to use a piece of cardboard like this. You want to remove the upper thin layer of the cardboard and uh, just leave it to the side for now. And then uh, I already did it here. You want to use uh, two of these type of cardboards, just a straight piece, glue it around right here, and, like next on the barrel too. And uh, I'm using another piece, like a random piece. I'm just grabbing a random piece of cardboard, put it right, like just glue it right on. And uh, yeah, I kind of messed up here on the cutting. You will see that's kind of bad. I don't, I don't like that. But you, you, you guys could avoid that by just uh, using a ruler or something. I just cut it straight out. But anyways, um, so after doing that, we will be starting doing the um, bolt of the sniper rifle. And uh, after that, we're going to start making the grip, and then the stock, and last but not least, the magazine and the rest of the guns. Okay, so now you have the both side covered. You will need uh, this piece of cardboard you just made and just glue it right here. This, this will be where the uh, front of the uh, scope mount will be. Now, if you got all of that done, you want to use a thin piece of cardboard like this um, and just give a glue gun and um, glue it on right here to cover the big gap in the front okay now with all of that done you should be getting something like this and now you want to get another piece of tube paper and uh, just roll it up and um, you want to draw like a rectangle and uh, make sure it's big enough or it will be way too small for the bullet to come out I'm just saying uh, that because uh, it's not going to be bullet coming out of the barrel or anything you just look weird if that's the ejection port is too small anyways and after that you want to roll the paper just small enough to fit in the uh, other barrel we just made slide it in before that you want to cut this part out and just slide it in this should be what it looks like after you put the uh, where the uh, I forgot what it's called but where the board come out should be and um, you want to use a few piece of cardboard to uh, fill the places up. It should be looking like this. Now um, you want to use a piece of cardboard. I don't know where I put that piece of cardboard. Let's hope I find it soon. Oh, right here. Uh, you want to use a piece of cardboard about this big and remove a little bit of this correlation by leaving this in piece of um, piece of cardboard. And uh, you want to put it right here with a, about like an angle. So it looks like this. And I'll show you what it looks like after I glue it. After you um, glue the piece on, it should be look like this. And then you want to use some more some, some piece of paper to cover the um, this part of the gun so it looks better. Okay, so now after uh, everything is done, it should be looking like this. And um, you want to use another piece of cardboard like this to cover it up. There will be the back um, stand place, whatever you want to call it, for the uh, rail system to hold the scope of the gun. And then you want to use another piece of paper and uh, roll it up, and I'll show you do what to do after that. Okay, so after f uh, finishing rolling up the paper, um, this paper should be just the right size to go into the other p tube we just made. That will be the ejection port. Uh, of the sniper rifle, so it will be looking like this after you push it in. 
and you want to have a thin piece of paper like cardboard rolling around this part of it and we're going to use another part of a we're going to use this shape and layer it up uh, four or five times and glue it to this and later we're going to use this like a circle layer it up uh, two times or three maybe glue it down here and add a little I don't know if you have these type of uh, hole punchers punch the hole and put that little um, piece of cardboard you got right on top of this I'll show you um, what I mean by that later okay so after you lure them up I lure this one three times and I lure this one four times uh, you want to use a thin piece of paper to wrap around them so it looks better without the corrugations um, so you just cover them up which looks better and uh, for this piece you want to use toe puncher and punch a hole in like a random piece of cardboard and use that piece of cardboard just punch it out and then just glue it right on see the little dot there just glue it right on that in the middle and after that you want to glue this piece to the here and you want to do this piece right here make sure it's going this way not this way okay so after you lure them up and uh, glue them to the the paper tube you should be you should be looking like this how I got this part is that since I cannot make a circle of cardboard I decided to use a um, cardboard and roll them up together into like a large um, tube and uh, go to this part and it will be fitted onto this gun pretty good and put it on the first time the first two times you pull this gun you'll um there'll be a lot of friction in the here so you want to keep on pulling it and then get smooth so after you finish doing that it should be looking like this And later, you want to use another piece of paper and roll it up. Uh, you want to make sure it's long, so it'll be the extended barrel for this gun. After doing that step, you, uh, you should be having a more longer barrel than it was. So this roll will be looking, looking like right now. And now, we'll make the trigger guard. And we'll do the magazine at the end of the whole um, uh, video. Which is not this video, but like uh, I'm gonna separate this video into different parts. This is gonna be part one of how to make the body of the gun, and uh, yeah. So what we're gonna make, make right now is gonna be the trigger guard, and then we're gonna make a uh, the upper rail for the I mean the rail for the scope, and the rail for the tripod. Okay, so this is how we're gonna make the trigger guard. You need a piece that looks like the trigger guard. And layer it up about four or five times, and then uh, cover the corrugations up with another thin piece of cardboard. And uh, I'll show you how it looks like after it's been glued onto the. Okay, so now after layering, your uh, trigger card should be looking like this. You could add a trigger by um, layering it of the trigger shape, but I decided to not to add a trigger because it just look weird. I don't like adding triggers to um, cardboard guns, that's my thing, so yeah. Anyways, now for the upper rail, you will need a long piece of cardboard, and you need two more cardboard under it, like rectangle cardboards under this, here and here. Okay, so these are the two cardboards you'll be needing. You will just put them right here on top of each other, and use this piece to go on top of it. Okay, so these you'll be needing five of them and five half sides of these. So later we're going to attach them on here and later we're going after the um, part four or five, maybe three if it depends, I will tell you how to make the scope and we'll slide on and off of the rail. And also you'll be needing a piece look like this. This piece will be the front uh, rail like attach the right here okay so this is how the real system will work you will see here where I'm using this little piece to connect to this piece and this will make like a T shape and you will glue it the bottom part to here onto the rail to be looking like this and then you could just slide on and slide off of the gun no matter where 
Now you want to glue this place right here and do the exact same here. We do it here. So now you have a part one of your gun done. You will be looking like this. It's becoming to look like a sniper rifle. I think there won't be two parts and the uh, one. I mean three parts. The next part will be how to finish the gun. The I mean the grip and the stock. And the, the last part is going to be the tripod and the magazine, also the scope. So yeah, so after we finish doing that part, everything should be good. You would pull that up and you gotta pull that back if you want. Let me just pull it back. See? Push that back if you want. Just put it down. So yeah. So there you have your part one of your M forty A five. And also I'm not sure you can see this but for a minute to New Year uh two thousand eighteen. So yeah, happy new year from Lucas XI Films and Carbro Studio. See you at part two of how to make the cardboard and 48 five.